Hello, it's Mr. Tander from Family Martial Arts, and I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm nice and chilled, because we're going to do a mini meditation video. Uh, please don't be distracted by the shininess of my head. It's proper shiny in this, in this light. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so today we're going to do, uh, uh, or, or try and do a meditation video. Um, feel free to do, I mean, you can watch the video, and then try it, you know, don't necessarily try it with me right now because I'm not going to be doing it for long enough or, or try and do it long enough. Uh, this is m mindfulness meditation so it's not necessarily um, you trying to visualize as, as much because I know some you know in the past with, uh, with other students I've done um, you know visualizing uh, being in a spot um, there's a waterfall or a lagoon or, or could have been uh, it doesn't have to be anything. It would be in like complete darkness and pinholes of light, but all, all that um, depends on your imagination and how comfortable you are with those situations. So if you're a lagoon but you hate water, it's a bit of an issue. <laughs> you're not going to relax. Um, or if you don't like the dark, um, uh, so this this way instead of instead of thinking about anything like that you're concentrating on how you're feeling um, right now in the moment. And if you're seriously concentrating on your physical feeling, on certain aspects, um, everything else, your, your worries and what's stressing you out should go out of your mind um, and it shouldn't necessarily be an issue. Uh, that's a theory anyway. That's, you know, I find it works for me anyway. So what you do, sit down or find a, a nice relaxing area maybe you even lay down the problem with laying down is sometimes you might fall asleep mind you that's not necessarily a problem it's a good thing if you want to relax um find a, uh, a place close your eyes and concentrate on your breathing so i want you to over exaggerate your breathing not see a hyperventilating but um breathing in and out Now, you can just breathe through your nose, you can go in through your nose, out through your mouth, it doesn't matter. The, the, what you're concentrating on is the feeling of the air rushing in to your body, going down your throat, filling up your lungs, and then your, your lungs contracting and the air coming back out again. That's all you're concentrating on is the breathing going. And then you're going to try and slow down your breathing. So you're going to breathe in, but you're only going to... Uh, uh, you breathe in, and then you breathe out, and you only breathe in again when you feel like you need to, not necessarily forcing it. So if I was when I had a big deep breath in... I breathe in when I need to, um, but still concentrating on the breathing. Once you feel like you can, you can easily, you, you feel like your your lungs, you can feel your lungs inside you expanding, your chest expanding as you're doing it, the air coming in and out, and it's feeling easy. Then I want you to concentrate on your heartbeat. This is some people find this a lot harder. So um, as you're breathing in and you're breathing out, you're then moving away from concentrating on your breathing. To how your heart feels in your chest now if you've got your hands on your knees okay, you might start feeling if if you um, if they're facing down it's uh, contract it's sort of squishing your blood vessels a little bit and it might make it a little bit easier to feel um, the pulsation of your heartbeat um, like further down or you might, you might feel it in your neck a little bit more uh, you might feel it in your chest but you're concentrating on the feeling of your heartbeat. And then when you can feel that, then see if you can follow that feeling throughout the rest of your body. So see if you can feel that heartbeat in, in your arms, on your neck, on top of your head, on your feet. And if you can get to that stage where you're, you've got that much uh, connectivity to your, you know, your respiratory system um, on the breathing, um, blood flow, 
uh, then you, you got to try and concentrate on your nerve endings and how they feel. And this is like almost one of the one of the last stages of, of this one. So it's three steps. You concentrate on your breathing, concentrate on your heartbeat, and then concentrate on, on nerve endings. So you're going to try and feel uh, just a tingling in your fingers or maybe a tingling in your feet. If you can, it feels like a little bit of pins and needles. Now, if you're doing big deep breaths, and you do it quickly, you can get this feeling quite quick anyway, um, if, if, if you concentrate on it. But if you're breathing slow, it's, it's gonna take a little bit longer, which is why the three stages helps. So you still be breathing, concentrate, first you concentrate on your lungs, then your heartbeat, then you concentrate on the tingling, the, the nerve endings. Now, if you can feel the tingling, Nine times out of ten, you'll feel it first in your fingertips, in your hands, or your feet. Um, then trace it back up your arms, all the way up and all the way around your body. Um, and that's 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 the harder thing. It's the hardest thing to do uh, on that part of meditation. Now that can take you like three minutes, five minutes, an hour, half hour, however you want, how long, however long you want it to take. Um, but all through that period, whilst you're concentrating on your body, you're not concentrating on other stuff that's stressing you out or um, causing problems, gives your brain time to relax. Um, and it's all around good for you. Um, let us know how you get on in the comments. Some of the Gravesend students have already had a go at this um, uh, to varying degrees of success. Um, I can say it, success. Yeah, I can say it. Um, but uh, the more you try it, the, the, the easier it becomes. Um, let us know how you get on in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.